All right, guys, we're back with a uh, countering series. I did uh, yesterday, we talked about countering reverse punch, that if anytime somebody leaned in, threw a big reverse punch, you were right there ready with that counter, that thrust kick or side kick, that that would be a nice cornerstone to a countering kind of a style of sparring. Um, you know, countering style, I think, is great for people who aren't going to be all, like, floating around and jumping and, you know, throwing multiple kicks and stuff. If you're more of a, a tank, you're more of, you know, strength and open style, then countering uh, is going to be a really good part of what you do. Um, all right, so the other thing that gets thrown nonstop is round kick, right? If you could counter punches, great. Did to pick one more, counter round kicks, okay? So we're going to talk about that, especially somebody throwing round kick off their back leg. They throw it off their front leg. There might not be a whole lot you can do about it, but anybody throwing big, slow back leg round kick, man, you can't just sit there and put your arm up and wait to block it. You have got to, um, you have got to take advantage of the big opportunity to hit them. And see, that's what what's so cool about countering is like if you're brand new, uh, you see a move coming, you're like, oh, it's a round kick, I should block it, and you kind of feel good that you got your arm up there, like, yeah, I blocked it. When in reality, that was your chance, right? That was your chance to hit. But the fact that there was a move coming at you made you switch mentally to defense. So don't do that. Stay on offense. All right, let me show you what to do. So big round kick comes. All right, so I'm throwing this at you. Big back leg round kick comes. There are three things that have to move together, all right? You're going to block, you're going to punch me in the body, and you're also going to slide step in. And it really has to be that all three happen at the exact same moment, all right? So let's go over each part uh, separately. Bring your guard up like this and put one arm on the side of your head. So it's kind of like a mini version of an outside block. You're just pop, you're just putting that right up next to your head. Um, also, turn into a nice reverse punch. Try to throw that without, see I'm trying not to lean. I'm gonna reach, but I'm not gonna lean. All right, so I've got this block and this punch, and practice throwing that, guys, at the same moment, right? So boom, almost like you're imagining that this kick hits your, your arm, and at that same moment, you're planting that punch right on their chest. And that's cool, right? too, because right now, see, you don't have the opportunity to punch me, but here comes my round kick, oh, right there, and as I throw this, you're blocking it now, you're hitting me while I'm on one leg. I've seen people get planted on the floor with this plenty of times. Not that that's your goal. <laughs> okay, here, and bang, block and punch, same moment. A Little bit of a twist, a little bit of a reach, uh, but not a lean. Okay, so because their leg is longer than your arm, you probably aren't going to be able to just stand in one place and do that. What you're gonna need to add to it is a slide step forward. All right, so watch my footwork. I'm propelling forward with the back leg, Right, I'm pushing forward with the back leg, but actually moving first the front leg. So push with the right, slide the left, expand your stance, and then slide up to where it was before. Don't make the mistake of bringing your feet together. Right? You start with a nice balanced position, you, you push to where it's a little wider, and then you catch up, but not like this, not all the way, right to here. All right? So practice that, that little slide in step. Okay, now do this, do this, do this, do this, both at the same time. All right, try the block and the slide at the same time. Block slide, block slide, try the slide and the punch. Okay, and now try all three. So you get to a point in your sparring match, like, man, Master Terry's got a big, dopey, slow round kick. I'm going to sit on that. And the next time I see that, next time I see that, like, shoulder start to move, next time I see this, I'm going to be on him. Boom. And I'm going to block, slide in, and hit. Get him while he's on one leg. Awesome technique. And you have so many opportunities to do it, right? All right, here it is. Toward you. Bam. And back. You're throwing your round kick at me. Boom. I gotcha, I'm throwing mine at you. Boom, you blocked me here, you hit.
same moment. All right. Now, trouble comes in where you don't know which leg is coming. Right? You don't know which leg is coming. Might be my left, might be my right. And that's okay. Because you don't have to switch feet. Regardless of the move, the, you know, the side that's coming towards you, you can keep that side step the same with your preferred leg in front, no matter what, all right? But all you would do is you would switch and make this your blocking hand and throw more of a front arm punch. As long as you get a nice shoulder turn into it, boom, you should still be able to get decent power and shove uh, with that front hand, especially if your leg is backing it up with the with that slide step. So I'm here, you throw here, your left round kick, bam, I'm hitting you here, got that protection against the kick, you throw your right round kick, see my step was the same, I just switched the arms. So everybody practice not changing feet, but changing hands, and making sure that it's all at the same moment. You don't want step, block, punch, right? Like in a form or something, because by the time you are throwing that punch, <clears throat> your opponent is like standing behind you and they're already on their 10th kick to the back of your head, right? You can't, you can't be wasting time like that. Bam, you've got to launch into that. Everything happens at the same moment, all right? So you got footwork going, make sure you can push out of your good footwork. That's why your footwork can't be too wide to begin with, right? Like if you're standing here like this, well, well, I don't want to end up in the splits when I lunge forward, right? So your footwork, that's why you don't do giant stances when you're sparring, is because you want to be able to push your body wherever you want it to go, all right? So countering the round kick, countering the reverse punch. If that's all you had, if you only had those two, I think you'd be in phenomenal shape. We're probably gonna cover a couple other ones coming up, all right? Nice job, guys.